Today we are at Sassafras Mountain. This is the highest point in South Carolina. Um, I don't know why, but we end up being at a lot of these high points recently. Um, last week we were in the highest point in Tennessee, which was in the Great Smoky Mountains. And uh, we were looking for something to do this week and, and found this place, Sassafras Mountain. So right here, we are right at the beginning or we're right at the point of the original observation um, deck. Do you see? Yeah, see out there? it's really pretty. Did it's you say, show them that we have the dogs this time? Mm -hmm. We haven't done a video with these guys in a while. Yeah, it's been did. too hot. It's been very hot. Well, it hasn't been humid. so much hot as it's been humid. They just uh, don't do well in the humidity. So, anyways. This is the original one, right? You said the original lookout was this one? Yeah, this Before is. Before they changed it? This is the original lookout. And it's got, it's got some overgrowth here. They probably should have uh, at least keep this, at least the immediate area trimmed down, but they they don't. Yeah, you can't really see anything. But you could see out there. I mean, that's pretty. Well, you can because you're taller, but all I see is a bunch of bushes. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of cloud cover out there today, and um, it's a little hazy, but you know, you could still see quite a ways, quite a ways out there. And I just love the green of all those trees and, and you could look at all the peaks and how how it goes just goes up and down and up and down that's so and cool it's amazing that we're not that far from greenville but it's so much cooler like i'm actually kind of chilly yeah well we're There's again no humidity. this is 30 i think 3553 feet up again the highest point in south carolina and we're right on the north carolina border we're going to go check out the new observatory which was opened in 2019 you said yeah that's what they said 2019 it's only been there for a couple of years um and that is literally like it straddles the border of north and south carolina so come on ladies so i'm on my way up the walk chris took up took off up ahead of me I'm on my way up the walk to get to the observation tower. It's right up here. And it's a little bit of a steep walk, but um, unlike Klingman's Dome, this one is only about maybe 300 feet, I think is what it is. So it's a pretty easy walk. So we'll be up there in a second. Hopefully I can get the drone up in the air. Supposedly, you could see four states from up here. There's actually the observation deck up there, right there. I'm gonna head up there in a second, but um, I kind of wanted to just get a, a look at the entrance here. Looks like there's some plaques here honoring the folks who helped protect this place. And then on this side here, it's got some information in regards to the uh, the observation tower. So again, 3,553 feet completed in April of 2019. So this is, I mean, this is a pretty new place to come and visit here in South Carolina. Again, this is the highest point as we stand in South, well, <laughs> the top of the observation deck, I'm sure will be the highest point, but uh, looks like you at one point were, be able, were able to possibly purchase some bricks to um i guess honor a loved one or this guy here wes he just put his name there <laughs> canon karen i like that one it looks like all the brick spaces are taken up though so i don't think you're able to do that anymore but supposedly you're able to see four states from here um north carolina and south carolina and what I'm actually straddling, if you see this black line headed up the staircase there, that straddles the North Carolina, South Carolina border. So I am got one foot in North Carolina, one foot in South Carolina right now. But again, yeah, four states. So apparently you could see North Carolina, South Carolina, because obviously that's right where we are. Um, you can see as far as Tennessee and Georgia. 
but with the cloud cover that's out there and it being hazy um, i doubt seriously you can see that far today but uh, let's go up onto the observation deck check it out there it is right now i'm in north carolina and now i'm in south carolina <laughs> and back to north carolina again oh my gosh breathtaking There's so many places here in south carolina north carolina tennessee georgia places like that where you can just see seems like forever look at those mountains out there all the way out there with the dogs yeah i'm right here sweetheart don't worry daddy isn't going too far away this one here you can see with the white stripe down the middle of her head um, that's elizabeth she does not like when the pack is broken up if chris walks away she will not rest until chris is back she's upset that i'm not right down there with them <laughs> she's definitely a pack animal I don't know if this wind is going to be a problem because it is a bit breezy up here, but um, this is the other side of the observation tower here. And this is the same view that you could see. This is the view that you can see um, from the original observation uh, platform, which is down below this tree line here. But it's just so amazing, all of these trees that are up here. And I don't know if you saw our last video, the one in Tennessee um at the clingman's dome but you can see these dark patches of trees here you can see them a couple of them here a couple of them there and it looks almost like there's cloud cover out there on those mountains but those dark patches of trees if they're the same trees are spruce firs which are uh, uh it's just a hardier high altitude uh tree that lives up here they're kind of cool look how lazy this is getting you leaning down or something? <laughs> He's already passed out. Hey Zeus, you taking a break, buddy? It looks like there's a cow head there, but there's a... What do you think? Pretty breathtaking, huh? Beautiful. And, you know, with it being so hot and humid in Greenville, it's funny that this close away, it's so nice. I mean, I'm not hot at all, are you? No. It's not hot at all up here. It's nice if you just want to get away from the heat for a little bit. It's got a nice breeze, good temperature. It's probably a solid 10 70. degrees cooler up here than it is down uh, in Greenville. It's not that far away. No, it's not there's not. There are some trailheads up here. Like you can, I don't know if you can see that sign down there that says Foothills Trail. You said that one is uh, what, 66 miles long? Oh, the Oak County Park is 66 miles long. And then I see. On that 4.7 4.7 yeah there's a shorter one there um laurel valley is that what it says i can't believe i can read that from here laurel valley is 4.7 mile that starting here <laughs> Supposedly, and okay, so you can see, you can see the nice ramp that goes that up from good. this point here up to the observation tower, which is right up there. And then you have this, this here, which is a, uh, I mean, that's rock and gravel and that sort of thing. This apparently is the uh, wheelchair accessible way yeah, to get up here. Yeah, it seems like the other way would be a lot easier. I mean, this the grade on this is a lot less. Um, like, what is that? That's not it, right? That's just a rock. Yeah, we go this way. All right. So supposedly, this is the wheelchair accessible way to get up here. <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, trying to push a wheelchair up uh, up this. And there are bumblebees everywhere. 
so we're back on our our way back down to the the car now and there's a, a docent guy that's sitting up there at the top of the uh of the observation tower and our observation deck and i asked him if i could fly my drone here and basically he said no like i'm not allowed to fly a drone here um and that if i wanted to fly a drone i would have to get in contact with the department of national resources i believe it was he said dnr and i think that's the department of national resources and file to get a permit to come up here to uh to fly a drone which is unfortunate because um that seems like a whole lot more of a hassle than it is to, <laughs> just to get a few extra you know a minute or so of, of drone footage you know that's unfortunate because a lot of the places that we go to i'd like to fly my drone but you're simply not allowed to do it. And to my experience so far in this area, you have to have a permits to do so. Same with the state parks. Um, you have to have a permit to do it. And uh, it's just kind of a bummer. There's nobody here. I don't know what I would be doing harming anything or anybody by you know putting a drone up in the air. I mean, there was like two guys up there earlier, but other than that, um, yeah, no drones. Kind of a bummer. I mean, it's at this point, sometimes I just feel it's more of a paperweight than anything. Um, because I can't I can't take anywhere and film something cool, you know I mean, I can go to the park near my house and fly it, but what's the fun in that? I wanted to get some nice beautiful views from up here um, But oh well, I'm not gonna complain about it Well, I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. Than <laughs> I just did <laughs> we have a snack? Oh, that's right. We did bring some snacks, didn't we? Yep. All right, let's go back to the car and get him a snack. Especially Lizzie, because she did a peat breakfast today again. Yes. Elizabeth, the pack one I was talking about earlier, she's the middle one. She uh, gets super excited when she knows that we're going to come on a on a, uh, a little trip. She knows if she knows she's going to go in the car, uh, she gets super duper excited and she refuses. She refuses to eat. And so she hasn't eaten anything this morning. That's not good. So, um, and I haven't talked about this before, but, but Chris and I, uh, we own a company where we make dog food and treats. And knowing that, <laughs> that Lizzie doesn't eat in the morning, um, Chris created a treat that we call hiking hounds. We have a fish one and we have a chicken one. And they're high energy treats. There's, they're high protein, um, they're high carb, um, they're healthy all natural snacks and they're perfect for lizzie because they give her that little bump that little you know tied me over until we get home and she can actually calm down enough to eat so let's get in the car and get her some of those so she uh she can get a little something in her tummy come here lizzie come eat your cookie have something to eat there we go you get some energy in you so we, i brought the chicken and i also brought the white fish too white fish one yeah you, want you try one of those yeah you want one of each this is how we trick her into eating so that she's not <laughs> starving all day zeus who had a full breakfast this morning zeus you want fish or chicken you want a little num num you need a little treat you want a, do you want another one heck yeah i want another one you want another one you want fish Oh, see, so when they want to eat breakfast, you can still find something for them to eat. Yeah. Just, do you really want another one? Are you, you ate breakfast. Oh, here, Bubba. Poor BB. Just getting left up. She's odd man out. That was really fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fun. That's a, it's a nice place. It's a, it's a beautiful view. That's for sure. Um, and it's not too far from, it's not too far from where we live. Um, I'd say it's probably about an hour from Greenville and then maybe about an hour and a half from where we live. So uh, it's kind of funny because it's really, it, distance wise, it's, I think it's only maybe 60 miles, but because of the windy roads and all that stuff, it takes you a while to get up, to get up here. So we're gonna head down the road here a few and see if we can um, find another little trail. Well, this is really interesting because this land is part of um, the old bootlegging. A lot of these people up here were farmers and they couldn't make money, so they started 
bootlegging, so this is kind of where it where it was for South Carolina up here in Pickens County. Oh, really? Yeah. It's called the Dark Dark Trail. I'll have to look it up to be sure, but it's like the dark something because this is where all the bootleggers lived. That's interesting. Can you imagine them? They, this man said that um, his grandpa used to drive a truck that had no back seat and he was always sipping something out of a pickle jar. <laughs> 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 Could you imagine driving on these windy roads in an old truck with all your moonshine in the back from your corn? Oh See all that corn growing? I wonder if they were making moonshine. I don't know. Yeah, we saw a lot of cornfields on the way up here. A lot of cornfields. <laughs> That's very interesting. So we were able to find um, a little trail just, just a, a few miles down the road from the uh, Sassafras Mountain observation uh, platform that was up there. And there's two trails here. The Foothills Trail, which I believe is a pretty long trail. And then there's the Beach Bottom Falls Trail. I wish it would tell me how far that trail goes. I don't know. It could be a half a mile down to the Beach Bottom Falls. It could be 15 miles. No idea. But uh, we're going to walk along this trail, this Beach Bottom Falls Trail, for a little bit just to kind of get the dogs out. Again, the weather up here is... The weather up here is beautiful. Nice, cool, uh, cool weather. So um, it, it, <laughs> it's been, I think, about three weeks since we've been able to really get them out because of humidity. So they're dying to get out of the house. So we're going to get them out for a second and walk them along these trails. Da -da 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 -da. Batman! Now we know where he lives. So I've never seen one of these before, but this is kind of cool. Check this out. It's a bat roost. So they have these, I'm not gonna get too close because I don't want to disturb them, but it's, it's, it says, please do not disturb. This is a bat roost. So there's probably a bunch of bats asleep in there. That is really, really cool. Bats are awesome. We used to live in, uh, area in Sacramento that was in between well it was in between Sacramento and Davis and underneath the bridge the it was Yolo called the Causeway. yeah the Yolo Causeway underneath the bridge was every year like millions of bats would come and roost underneath that thing and you could go there was a bat like conservationist uh, person that would take you out there um, at the right time of the day and you just see these just millions of bats all coming out and she was saying that they would eat like that group of bats would eat like um, 50 something grocery bags, like those old paper grocery bags, like 50 or 60 of them every single night of mosquitoes and gnats and all kinds of crap that was out there. Bats are really cool because they, uh, they help to keep the, the bug population down and that's, uh, that's always nice. So eat as many mosquitoes as you want and build as many of those bat roosts as you can because they're a good, they're a good thing to have around. This is a cool little bridge, little footbridge. Got some stone steps up to it, and this kind of gnarled wood that makes up the uh, the railing. It's a pretty sturdy railing too, and it just heads right over this nice little creek. It's coming out of the out of the woods there, and headed right back into the woods. Neat place. So, I am flying solo here now. Chris has uh, gone back to the car because although it was only a half a mile from that last point, there's a lot of staircases and um, Lizzie, she simply won't be able to handle getting, she can probably come down, but she really wouldn't uh, do too well coming back up. It's pretty, there's switchbacks here. Um, and you can see, they're kind of nice these little like wooden steps that they've made but it's just down 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 
and she struggles a bit. So I will be pressing on. I'll check out these falls. I didn't come this far to turn around now, man. No way. Some of these, <laughs> some of these little foot bridges are kind of sketchy, but at least it's not uh, like that's pretty solid. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but it's pretty solid. But um, yeah, and the good thing too is it's not a, uh, it's not a far fall. If I do fall, um, I just don't want to fall. I think we're coming, or I'm coming across this. Uh, platform I actually ran across a couple of people uh, maybe a quarter mile back not even that eighth of a mile back who said that um, the platform was right here and that it's a very pretty view so this looks like it is the platform well, let's go check this out let's see what what was it dang it something bottom falls I can't remember I can't remember never heard of it until we drove up here we just happened to go past it saw the uh, signs so we figured we'd stop it's a nice little observation deck here oh wow that is nice look at that that's a beautiful little falls right there there's a ton of waterfalls in our area south carolina north carolina i mean they're just Tons and tons of them, and it's because of all the mountains and all that stuff that's up here, so they're everywhere. Uh, some of them, you can get right down to the bottom, put your feet in the water. Some of them are <laughs> a mile and a half off in the distance, you you know, you walk. as one by Caesar's Head we did about a month ago, and it was it was a nice walk, but the, 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 the waterfall was just so far away, it wasn't super enjoyable. This one's a little bit down. But it's only maybe a couple hundred feet. It's not that far away. It's still pretty. I know I've said this in probably most of my videos, but I absolutely love living in this area because of all of this, because of all of the green, all of the trees, all of the mountains, all of the waterfalls, all of the state parks, everything. It's just gorgeous here in South Carolina. We love it here. Anyways, uh, that was a nice little walk. I'm gonna uh, head on my way back out now. Um, it was about from the parking lot. It was about a mile, about a mile, maybe maybe a little bit more, but if so, not much. But definitely a nice little trail. Um, and it is up here, like I said, near the Sassafras Mountain, maybe, maybe four miles-ish before you get to the Sassafras Mountain um, Overlook. It's kind of an, an obvious parking lot. You know, there's enough spaces there for 10 cars or so. And you'll see the trailhead signs right there. This one is the... I'll, I'll, see, I'll see when I get back out. Something, something, some, something bottom falls trail, but uh, yeah. You'll see it at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, again, I'm on my way out. And I will pick up when I get uh, back out to the car. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. And it's over now. Drink your big black cow and get out of here. I've had that song stuck on my head for four days. <laughs> over and over on a loop. And it's over now. Drink your big black cow and get out of here. I gotta figure out how to get that thing out of my head, man. It's driving me crazy. All right, I'm back at the car. <laughs> that was uh it started to get a warm out here um it's definitely humid now 
So. <laughs> so I made a good choice for turning around. Yeah, you made a really good choice for turning around. My hiking means when I start to sweat, I'm done. <laughs> well, you're not going to be doing any hiking in That's South Carolina. I hike till I'm sweaty, but I don't like to sweat. <laughs> it gets your heart pumping. That's for sure. Um, that last quarter mile of it. Was it straight up or straight down? Well, not the last quarter mile, about the last eighth of a mile, I would say. Okay. It was pretty, lots of stairs just going down. Oh, it was stairs. Stairs going down. But then uh, coming back up, you know, it was, uh, I had to stop and rest a couple of times. Was it as bad as that one in Tennessee? I'd say probably about the same. Okay, I would be out. Probably about the same. Okay. No. I don't think it was as humid there because I didn't I, I didn't sweat like I'm sweating now um, But it's definitely a good workout That's got my possibly. You know, they weren't like right there. They were remember that one we went to and it was kind of far out Yeah, this wasn't nearly as far out, but it wasn't right there. You couldn't like, you know, really get the full Experience of it because it was probably about 200 feet away yeah. But uh, I don't know it was a nice hike. I, I did enjoy it. A little bit of a challenge. I like it. My, my heart pumping. So, um, well, look I'm at these came... guys. This is what they yeah, did yeah. the minute we got back to the car. <laughs> they came back and just like passed out in the back. <laughs> <laughs> they had some water, had a cookie, and they were done. <laughs> so cute. All right. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Yeah. Um, definitely come out and check out the uh, Sassafras Mountain. Did you have a good time? I had fun, but I am ready for lunch. Yeah, we're gonna go home, drop the dogs off, get ourselves something to eat. And uh, again, if you like watching our content, please consider uh, liking, maybe make a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Yeah.